All right, we rented a Scorpion King, a semi truck, a log trailer, and a chipper, a wood chipper, all in one day. I spent about thirty thousand dollars to rent these for the next week. So that's gonna be, yeah, I spent like 30 grand to rent these for the next week. But the thing is, we're gonna make so much money. I need these, I need these to harvest those trees. Right now I got a new employee as well. So our business is booming. We're renting this equipment. Obviously I don't have a million dollars to own it. So we're gonna be renting it for the week. I thought it was pretty steep with the $30,000 rental charge but we're gonna make so much money off it i think the the guy knew too so not too big a deal i guess it's a lot of equipment but we have our workers should be heading down or come down in the 1066 hopefully hopefully it's gonna be able to handle the uh the wood chipper but i think if i remember correctly this thing is super heavy and the uh the 1066 is a light is super light so there he is. He's pulling in. Carbonado is our new employee. Our business is booming. Now we got a worker. What's up, Carbonado? What's up? Go ahead. Hook up to the uh, to the chipper there on the right of the, the semi. Let's see if it works because I'm a little worried. You might pop a wheelie every time you go forward. So <laughs> okay. we will uh, We'll see. I, I'm, I actually think you will. But if you don't, that would be so nice. Uh, but if you... Oh, watch out. If you do, well, you'll just have to take it really slow. I kept the um, the front loader on there so we can kind of counterbalance the weight. Maybe I should have put like a, maybe we should have grappled onto like a like a stone or like a big rock. But go ahead, hook up here, and then we uh, we'll see what we got going. There you go. Go forward. Oh, is it going? Yep, it is. Wow. Okay. All right. Just go nice and slow. That's a lot of weight. I mean, you can go normal speed, but like, that's a lot of weight for you, too. I'm going to go ahead and jump the king. I'll come down with you here. It's been a while since I've been in the Scorpion King, guys. It's been a really, really long time, so bear with me as I uh, get used to all the controls. I think, I think the controls are really weird, too. I can't remember. There was something off about the controls being really weird, but we'll figure it out. We'll get multiple loads up in the semi-trailer. And then we'll also be doing uh, some wood chips. And I expanded our fence to add to that. So I'll see you guys when we get down there. All right, so on my way down here, I was messing around with the controls. And the thing that changed from FS17 to 19 is if you left click, so just normal click, you go forward and back, that's what like reaches it out, which totally makes sense. I think in the past, uh, it was right click left to right with your mouse. Um, because I, I've been in Scorpion King so many times. It's like the best machine by far. I don't really like, like all the other mods. They're really cool. Like all the mods that FDR makes and stuff, but they're, they're like almost too hard to work with, I guess. And I, I want to go decently fast. So it seems like they're almost too hard to work with, but all right. Carbonado's right on my six there. He's coming in and then we are jumping in the warrior. We'll get her driving down. So we have a week to get everything done. I'm hoping we should be able to. So, Carbonado, I hired you, my man, so we can capitalize on uh, on this. All right. Okay. We got to we got to get it done, and then after that, I'm fired. No, I'm kidding. I, I I won't fire you once we're done. But <laughs> we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have lots more money, and maybe I'll instead of renting, I'll start buying some more equipment. But for now, we're renting the king, the trailer, the truck. The thing that was most expensive was the was the scorpion king by far that's what kind of drove up the price and then the rest uh i needed too so we'll have wood chips we'll have firewood we will have we'll pretty much be running to the sawmill uh back and forth just selling as much wood as we can see what we can get for a full load uh um i can't remember what it used to be but it was like it was like 60 or 70 thousand so right there we're gonna be we're gonna be getting our money back but um, for the rentals for sure, but also it costs us time and money to, to plant these and stuff. So cool, cool, cool. Carbonado, you made it back there. You all right? Yep. You survived. You survived the crazy trip. Yep. Had to detach it because it was trying <laughs> to up really. Yeah. A little squirrely. It's, that's what I was afraid of. It seemed like at the first you were pretty good, but then you were kind of lagging and stuff. So 1066 yeah. got her done, but probably not in style. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of rough on it. I knew it would, it's just so much weight on it. So go ahead, actually, could you hook up, re-hook up to, or you are hooked up. Uh, I want you to back that into the opposite corner of where the, uh, 
where the uh, firewood is, if that makes sense. I'll run over there. So follow me. Go around the Scorpion King. Go like the corner of the fence in the in the barn. That's where we're gonna have our that. yeah. It says press enter. Wait. And then it says it acts like it's on right now, but then when I go for it, it says please start ending. Yeah, that's weird. There. Oh. There we go. And then attach. I knew yes. it was gonna be something with like the wood chip or something so i'm gonna go ahead back this up and then we'll be ready to go for wood chips all right so this is where we're gonna put our uh this is where we're gonna mainly put here oh come out of you were in there um this is where we're gonna put our wood chips we'll go ahead pipe out is oh and we'll kind of build them up see how tall it gets that's why i got the fence then we can always move it to the left too uh and then we'll see what is it start engine turn on wood crusher and then are we good are we good i think we're good yep i think we are too i guess you can always drive it around too so we'll get the case out of here for now so it's not in the way of anything i never knew you could actually get in there yeah yeah you can get in that you can get oh we'll have to get a conveyor belt too like eventually when we want to load that up and stuff so first things first uh i'll pull around you want to pull around the uh, the semi truck and get it in position just pretty much do a 180 with it, but go uh, bring it closer to, yeah, just do a 180 right where it was at, pretty much. And I will do the rest. Mm -hmm. And then another thing you can do is jump in, once you get that done, uh, let me see. First I gotta turn on the harvester. It's been a while since I've been in here. I should probably keep the control panel open. I'll need you to jump in the 7-Eleven Carbonado once you're done with that. And, uh, and what am I trying to say? Okay, I still need to get... There we go. Try not to destroy the semi with my leg. Yeah, yeah, you're good. It, it, it's tough. It's tough. It's not. It does take a second to get used to everything. All right, what is my cut length? Change it to eight. I'll pull it a little closer. Holy cow, Carbonado! What's you driving? You're lagging a little bit. All right. So the only tough thing is these trees are like right next to each other. So it's tough. It's gonna be pretty tough. I'm having Carbonado go ahead and uh, what am I saying? I'm gonna have him get the stumps removed, and I am going to just need some time to get used to this big guy. It has been so long. I missed you, my friend. But uh, we, yeah, we need to rekindle and get to know each other before I get too crazy. It will. It will take me a second. Because the controls are different, a few other things are different. I'm not, not saying, not trying to have excuses, but it is. It take me a second. I got, I, I got so many moves up my sleeve. I got so many little tricks that I always use. All right, let's see. Come on, don't, don't cut too far. Oh, it cut too far. It cut too far. There we go. Up, over, back. All right, now we make some cuts. I might. Oh, come on. No, cut. I might even need to go back even more. It's just tough. It takes a long time for me to get used to it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not the best, like whatsoever. But I forget. How do you even extend? Is there even a button to extend the boom? I don't even think there is. Um, Spencer, I think we have a little bit of an issue over here. What's that? Yeah, so just keep bringing them down on them. What do you mean they were too high? You were above them. Right? Maybe? It's right. What it's right. You're good. You're good. You're good. I don't know what I said. You're right. Um, I meant to say too low. Too low. I got you. Yeah, just go ahead and bring it down. Just go nice and slow and start grinding those because it's going to open things up and we are stuck how am i stuck yeah so we're gonna need to figure this out give me a second guys let me get my first two trees underneath my belt and then we'll be rocking and rolling all right guys so we're on to our third tree now and we it's all right never mind so <laughs> it randomly like well i should probably try and control it but it sways when i'm cutting the logs super annoying i'm missing i i, I lost pretty much this whole entire tree um one's on the ground now but yeah it's pretty it's pretty tough i'm not 
digging the uh i wish the controls were like they were before it was, they're more simple and they weren't uh they're more simple and but they weren't as fast but it was it was okay because like i don't know it just it worked better last time in fs uh i haven't ran it in 19 too much but in 17 it just was so much more simple the scorpion king but i just maybe i just got to get used to it i don't know i don't like it it's tough and like the physics of the log swaying in the air I am not used to and I can't control where it falls so I placed the truck really far away so that I have a big run up to straighten out the log of course I want to have it like ready to load up but even then it still likes to sway and not go where I tell it to which is always pleasant surprise whenever you're whenever you're doing this and and yeah it's it's kind of annoying to having to the boom doesn't raise as easy you have to extend out, then lift up, extend out, then lift up, and yeah, it's just, I would say everything's harder. I don't know. Uh, I used to be a huge fan of, like, big time logging in F17, but 19 is just not as good. Uh, all right, maybe those will hold on there. All right, sway to the left. Maybe I can control how it sways but it's tough these trees a little too big in my opinion too um all right we'll get uh you know what maybe carbonata if you just want to truck that over go ahead truck that to the sawmill make okay. sure to strap it down and then i am gonna work on um doing what am i gonna say well no still on the side don't fall out yeah yeah, just keep them strapped. They should stay on. I'm going to work on the wood chips now. We're going to run this. Uh, the Scorpion King will get one meter cuts on them. And then we'll just keep running and gunning with them. But thank you guys all so much for... If you're here all the way late into the episode. Thank you so much for, for joining. We'll have a few more here with Carbonado. Before we got to return all this stuff. Curious to see what he's going to get for that truckload. Um, but mostly I'll be in the Scorpion King. And sorry guys, I'll probably always be in third person because I'm still like really beginner at it even though I have I've done the scroll king a lot but not in 19. It's just in my opinion quite a bit easier to run it when it is uh when it is third person. Yeah. The trees are almost they're almost just too big. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but they are almost just too big to work with. All right, we'll go ahead and lift this guy up. Get her ready to cut some wood chips. I'm curious to see. I should probably lower down the uh, conveyor belt to try and get as far into the corner as possible. A little easier doing wood chips in terms of, like, loading them up and stuff. Because you just got to make one meter cuts. All right, now we just need to get that guy running. Get the conveyor belt running. We have done wood chips since Narnia. If you guys remember those days, let me know in the comment section when you remember when we were doing all that stuff. Uh, Spencer. What's up? We got a problem. Did you flip? Possibly. He flipped. All right, so I'm gonna figure it out. That's all I can say. Were you eating on the job again? Nope. No. And this time it was got too heavy, and then I got a lag, a major lag spike. I got gotcha. you. And then I'm stuck, and there's a pole, right? where i'm trying to flip back over at that's lovely and the good thing is we don't even have to carry anything on so that's not gonna work too sh too good um what, what uh all right any ideas are you just keep work with it let me know if you get it figured out pretty much i'm trying to like detach and reattach like i'm trying to like get the truck to lane back normally and then attach the trailer mm -hmm. yeah i know that's that's what i would do too got it you got it yep nice Back nice nice road. nice so we got our employee first first day on the job he already yeah okay don't tell that rental company and and any big damage at all or there's literally no damage at no all. damage you flipped it and there's not a single scratch there might be a few tiny scratches a few tiny that scratches that's what they all say that's what they all say. All right. 
If, if they charge us any extra, that's out of your pocket. Okay. You sure about that? It's going to be some big money. I'm sure. All right. All right, all right, all right. So I need to keep going with this. Honestly, I prefer wood chips over logs. Uh, how close are you to me? I'm excited to see your bank account be restored. Um, about half full. You're like a few quarters out. Gotcha. Another thing that's really weird is this guy doesn't like to unload when I tell it to. I have to like redo it every time, which is kind of annoying. There we go. But we're going to have a pretty big... Okay, now it turns off. What the heck? Alright, turn on. Left control I. Um... Oh my goodness, this is... Every time I... Okay, there's got to be something that I'm doing wrong. Um... Keep going. Don't stop conveyor building. Don't stop unloading. I think once it stops, it doesn't like to unload, which is super weird, but... I think it stores wood chips too, so as long as I keep going in here, I think it's good. Come down, are you close? I'm literally like pulling in right now. Perfect. Stupid ones that are sticking out the side keep getting caught on like telephone poles and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's tough. I knew that was gonna be, <laughs> knew that was gonna be hard driving, but yeah, do I'm your best, do your best. I'm as just long gonna as get out and cut the walls. Yeah, almost. Yeah, get out and just cut them. There's no point. No point. They're making me mad. What's your guess? How much are we gonna make? It was only like, it wasn't that many logs, but um, they're big. My, my guess is probably about. I'm hoping for about ten thousand. Yeah. Ten thousand would be nice. Hopefully, I'm shooting for twenty. It'll be somewhere uh, around twenty. I'll change mine. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, all right. More than I think. More that I think about it, I'm thinking 15. Perfect, perfect. We got wood chips piling up. The pile's actually pretty big after one, uh, one whole load there. So what I'm gonna do is make this pile as big as I can, move it around, and then what we'll do is get a conveyor belt, and in the end we'll load it up onto the semi. We'll have to get a different trailer for it, but we'll get it loaded up. And there we go. We're cutting. We're making money. The only thing I still can't figure out is why it doesn't like to unload, but I have to go to it, press left control I for it to unload, go back in the Scorpion King, and then keep making cuts, which is really weird, but I don't think I can do too much about it. Carbonado, so once you once you get over the construction tape, jump out, press N, and then they should all sell. Or you press R, I think. And I think you press R. Okay. Okay, ready? I'm ready. ready. Three, two, one. Twenty-five K. There we go. Even over my estimate. Way over mine, pretty much. There we go. Not so we got 25,000 from the wood. I'm making more uh, wood chips over here. Things are going good. I don't know why this conveyor belt is acting, or the um, the wood chipper is acting so weird. It keeps like shutting off, which is like super annoying because we have to keep things running. But oh well, guys. That's our first episode here with the uh, with the rental equipment. Hopefully, we can get some a few more employees because we're kind of stepping up the operations. At least some people to to just work here for the week. That might be, might be worth it. Um, I need to figure out why that guy keeps, keeps doing that. So thank you guys all so much for watching today's episode. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're 5,000 away. I think like four and a half thousand away from uh, 200,000 yeah, like subscribers. So please, please subscribe if you are new or if you're old and keep forgetting to subscribe, please do. So I'll see you guys all in the next one.